Hello, my name is Amanda Porter, and I have been authoring the emotional descriptions of the essential oils in this book and all of its previous iterations for the past 10 years. And I'm really excited to talk to you about the changes that are in the new 10th edition. And um, of course, it has all of the essential oils that have been released uh, in 2021. But also, we have updated um, the section in the beginning with how to do your emotional work, which has been one of the most requested pieces that I have had over all these years. So we've updated that with some specifics so you can use it to actually process along with the, um, the essential oils, emotional descriptions. So everything is in there just as you would expect. Um, and the, uh, the oil descriptions, all of your old favorites and everything that's new. Um, it is now in alphabetical order and not split up by singles and blends. Um, so hopefully that makes it easier to find just the right essential oil that you're looking for. And as you know, in the past couple of editions, if you've been working with this book closely, there is a new body guide, which helps you to find the emotional issues by starting with your body. Um, and then there is the, the emotions guide, which is expanded and um, has all of the emotions and also some affirmations and different questions you can ask and pathways you can get to things. So there's so many, many robust ways that you can use to work with the new book. This is really going to be your best companion while you're working with essential oils for your emotional work. Uh, so keep it close by. There's lots of instructions about how to use it and lots of different ways to start. So the 10th edition is um, really an exciting edition. Also, um, for new products, we have the new emotions wheel. And as always, it has the positive side of what you want to feel more of in your life, as well as the negative side, which is what you want to feel less of in your life. So if you're struggling with something, you would go to the negative side, or I want to feel less of, and you would find the emotions, the core emotions around the inner ring that most resonate with how you're feeling. Then you want to drill down and get some of that um, emotional granularity about what you're experiencing. So um, if you are feeling sadness, for example, there's a difference between regret and uh, grief. And so you would dig down into those and then you will find the best emotions or essential oils to work with that emotion. So for grieving, you're going to work with the respiratory blend. You're going to work with breathe. And uh, for regret, Siberian fur, an amazing companion for dealing with the past and dealing with regret. So it helps you to drill down and be able to have a really quick portable reference for using the essential oils and emotions that can help you and anyone that you come in contact with or your family members to have those quick solutions. So this has been updated with all the new oils. Uh, there's also two new products that are very exciting and I'm very happy to have the chance to talk to you about them. The first one is the feelings guide and the feelings guide is a, with emojis if you can see that. And so this first page has a list of emojis and emotions words, which is a concept that I was also working on in my new children's book. And um, so this is a really helpful sort of take along sheet. And it's amazing for adults as well, but really helpful for children who identify with pictures and images um, really well. So you have the emojis, you have the emotions. So you, there's the things you want more of, right? So if you want to focus on you know, setting that positive intention, there's happy, there's energized, there's grateful, there's calm, but then also further down, there's um, what they could be struggling with right now. So they're sad and there's angry and there's sensitive and insecure and powerless and all of those things to help them choose and self identify. Because as autonomous beings, we all want to identify how we're feeling and have an active part in finding those solutions. So when you turn this sheet over, um, there is a lot of, um, uh, there is a emotion, essential emotions uh, listed, right? So you have all the emotions and the essential oils that go with that. And I tried to choose the very best, most targeted essential oil combinations for that emotional state. So you have a really quick reference. So, um, you know, you look at how am I feeling? How do I want to feel? And when you identify that, so if we're feeling anxious, you would find the top oils for dealing with anxiety or anxious states. So you have adaptive and steady and wild orange and it gives you those, those excellent choices right at your fingertips. So this is going to be a really, really amazing tool, especially for working with children. It's going to give a lot of help in learning 
that self-identification and finding our own positive solutions so you know which oils to begin journeying with. And of course, you would go back to Essential Emotions, find the description, um, where to put it, more application tips and tricks and that kind of a thing to deepen that experience. So the last product I want to show you is these new affirmation cards. So there's a whole deck uh, with every single essential oil and affirmations that go along with it. And this is something that has been so requested for so many years that you can just use a deck and um, have the affirmation, that positive affirmation for every single one of the essential oils. So I want to give you a couple of examples. So let's take Huga, the brand new blend. It's called Cozy Blend, but in Essential Emotions, it's the blend of Sanctuary. So in the card deck, it's beautiful. You have the essential, uh, or you have the emotional uh, title or topic that I give to all of the essential oils. So Huga is Sanctuary. And so if you want to just look through the words um, on the back of the cards, they're beautifully, they're beautifully done, um, really nice images. Then you can find the word that you most resonate with. You can put the cards down and draw them that way. And then you could find that huga, uh, which is the oil of sanctuary. And you could draw that and then also work with this positive affirmation and um, be able to use the oil and the affirmation as you're trying to create this change or bring this state into your life. So for Huga, the affirmation I wrote is, I savor the simple things that bring joy. So this is a good reminder to be present, to savor the simple things and actually train yourself to take more notice, more care and more connection to the simple things in life. There's also the positive emotions um, on the side for a quick reference so you can kind of deepen and expand uh, what you're calling into your life. Content, sheltered, sharing, grateful. So um, again, there's many different ways to use this um, alone and in conjunction with essential emotions and always, of course, with your essential oils. So you could draw a card at random and do that every morning and um, trust that you're calling to yourself what you need for that day. And then you can just draw it, use the essential oil, and you're on your way. So I'll give you one more example, um, Madagascar vanilla, because it's very exciting. And we're all very excited about uh, the vanilla because it smells so amazing. So, um, but the, the emotional properties of the Madagascar vanilla, its primary focus is on unfolding. It's very sacral chakra oriented. So we've got um, creativity and um, sexual harmony and... Um, all that sacral chakra yumminess and calling into um, our life miracles and the things that we need, a lot of abundance. So the affirmation that I wrote for this is miracles happen every day in my life. So it's one part affirmation and confirmation of what's actually happening and also another way to set that intention of bringing more of that into your life. And it's just a beautiful oil to work with. So it works with desire and synchronicity and possibility and wonder. So you have, this, you have this ability to work with vanilla on this deeper level and, and call it in every day. So there is an affirmation for every oil that's in the book. So love these tools. Love the 10th edition. Can't wait for you to have your own experience with them. Be blessed.